In this video, I'll be reviewing three different custom printed Ninjago minifigures that were made using official LEGO pieces with custom prints on top. Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and I just got a package in the mail, and inside of this package should be some custom printed Ninjago minifigures. Before I open this up, I want to give a shout out to all the different people behind this project, being Ninja Customs, Flow Society, and Super Brick Figs. I should have all their Instagrams linked in the description below, I encourage you guys to follow their accounts, they're super cool. And I do want to disclose that these minifigures were gifted to me, I did not pay for them. There was a little bit of a trade in there, but it was mostly a gift from them. So I do want to say thank you very much for that, I'm very excited to get this open. So I think it's time, let's open this up and see what's inside. That was some really powerful packaging that would have been made infinitely easier if I just grabbed scissors. But we don't use scissors, we don't use knives on this channel, we use our bare hands to rip open packages, and we're not changing that today. So let's take a look at the minifigures inside here. Ooh, okay, so there's a total of three here, and I probably have one censored on screen right now because it is a slight spoiler for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. If you guys don't know the situation with that, Peacock accidentally released the season super early, and I did watch it on there, but the official release still hasn't happened yet, that happens on October 3rd. But because my and many others have seen the season, yes, that did make one minifigure from that part of the season. So if you haven't seen the season yet and you don't want to be spoiled on that character, I'll let you know when it's coming up or review the other ones before it, so that way you have ample time to get away from the video. However, I won't be talking about like any lore from the show in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the minifigure itself. So if you don't mind just seeing the character, I will still cover it in the video. And with that one gone, let's take a quick look at the other two minifigures in here before we move up a little bit closer. So this first one here is Noct of the Forbidden Five, which is a character that I think we'll probably get officially at some point. I really hope we get him officially at some point. But for example, if he is the villain in like season three, I don't know if he's still going to have the same outfit or if he's going to have a new outfit. So I'm very excited to have a custom version of him from Dragons Rising season two. Then we have another Dragons Rising season two character right here, Gondolaria. Now she is probably one of my least favorite characters in Dragons Rising. However, she was pretty important to the plot and we didn't get her as a minifigure. So it's very, very cool to now have a custom. And then finally, we have one last thing in here. This is a printed transparent yellow minifigure head with a picture of Jay on it, which we also saw in Dragons Rising season two part one. This is meant to represent, like, the sprite that Jay encounters and, like, sees a vision of his past. That's a very, very cool thing that they made, too. And then, of course, there's the third figure who should still be censored. But now let me move up a little bit closer so we can take a look at the minifigures in more detail. So I've moved Noct and Gondolaria into my minifigure review area, and looking at them up closer, wow, these minifigures are amazing. I always get questions about this. These are official LEGO parts. The only part that's custom is the printing. And in my opinion, this is, like, the best type of non-official minifigure because the parts are 100% genuine LEGO quality, so as long as the the printing team like does a good job with the design this makes these fit in really well with official lego collections and yeah they definitely did this time i mentioned the full team behind these earlier but the designer was specifically flow and i want to give him a lot of credit because he does such a great job at mimicking the official lego design style and obviously with like the torso and the legs those are pulled from the show somewhat like we have seen those in the show but with the face prints, you do kind of have to redesign them for an actual minifigure, because the faces are always, like, moving in the show, so you have to find, like, the right static style to make it look like an official LEGO minifigure. And oftentimes, with custom printers, the faces are what they get the most wrong. But as I said, that's really not the case with these at all. Like, this looks like it could be an official LEGO print. The size of the eyes, the spacing of the eyes, the thickness of the lines... It really does just like genuinely feel like the Lego style. I love how vibrant the printing is too. Obviously this is a dark blue head and sometimes it can be tough to print on dark blue because it is such a dark color. But no, Nock's white teeth really stand out and I love the expression on him too. He's like smirking. It definitely fits his personality. Now as with many custom minifigures, there is a little bit of a difference in like the texture of the printing. If you touch the front of an official Lego minifigure, it's going to be completely flat even if it's printed. On these though, the printing's like a little bit raised up. You could feel a little bit of texture there. Now I will say these guys do it better than some of the others I've covered. Like, sometimes on custom figures, the printing's so thick that it's hard to add accessories on top of, like, the head or the body. But this is such a subtle difference that I don't think that would matter at all. Ooh, and I appreciate the back torso print here, because I don't know if you ever see that from Noct in the show. Because he does usually have the cape on, so if that's an original design, I really appreciate that. That absolutely did not need to be there, especially for a custom minifigure. But that makes this guy extra cool. Another, like, slight difference between this guy and an official LEGO minifigure is you might be able to see there's, like, a slight white outline around most of the printing. I assume that's something to do with, like, how the printing process works. But it does does make things look a little bit different when comparing it to like an official minifigure right here. However, personally, I do not mind that at all. It still looks really good. And honestly, the white outline almost actually gives it a cool effect. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to say about this guy. He's genuinely perfect. I hope we get an official Noct minifigure, and I feel like we will at some point. But if for some reason we don't, I'll be satisfied with this one, because he has pretty much everything I could want. Coming to Gondolaria, they did actually have to like slightly tweak her face from the show, because in the show her glasses are three-dimensional, and obviously LEGO minifigures don't do that. So instead, Flo designed them to be like printed 
flat against the face. And again, I think that looks perfect. Her personality is absolutely captured there, and she's got like the little bits of makeup on her cheeks. Her hair piece is obviously different from the show, and the show it's like multicolored, but I think this is like the close enough official part. And as I said, I much prefer using official Lego pieces. You could make a custom piece that might be closer to the show, but then you have to deal with like 3D printing or painting or whatever. This though makes her feel real. This makes it feel like an actual minifigure because these are all official Lego parts. Taking the hairpiece off, they did not include any back face print, which like would have been cool, but it's a custom. It's not the end of the world. And if they want to make more in the future, they absolutely can. I think the one face they chose though is really good. And then the torso and leg prints pretty much feel straight out of the show. Again, it's a small thing I keep mentioning, but line thickness here is amazing. That's an issue that many custom companies have where they don't know like how big or how small to make their lines. But as I said, these feel like they could be official Lego prints, even though they're not. A few little differences. If this was official, I would assume like the necklace would be metallic and it's not metallic here. It's just completely matte. And then I kind Kind of funny one, you can see the hips are a completely smooth transition from the torso into the hips into the legs. On official minifigures, it's usually not like that. There's usually a little bit of a gap between the torso and the hips. But funnily enough, this actually looks better than the official way that Lego does it. Another difference from the show is in the show, she does have arm printing, which it looks like they decided to leave off. Again, would have been cool to see, but I think she works perfectly fine without it. And then finally, here she is with the sprite in her hand, which is just a transparent yellow minifigure head with that little picture of Jay on it. I appreciate how simplistic they went with the printing. They didn't try to like add Jay's eyes and stuff in. I know I keep saying this, but again, this feels like how LEGO would do it if they were to do this. Now, this is a very cool printed part to get because it's the kind of thing that I think LEGO will likely never do. Like, Noct is an awesome minifigure, but I expect we're going to get him from LEGO at some point. This, though, I'm never expecting us to get the sprite with Jay on it from Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 1. So it's, like, extra awesome to me because it's the kind of thing that can only exist in customs, but still feels like it fits in perfectly with the LEGO collection. So yeah, I really love these two minifigures. I have covered other minifigures from this team in the past, and they've all been pretty good, but I feel like they just keep improving and one-upping themselves, because yeah, I think these are their best yet. However, there is still one more to look at, but this is the spoiler minifigure, so if you don't want to see anything about Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2, click off the video now. This is the end of the video for no spoilers. However, the only thing that's a spoiler is going to be that there is a new character and who the new character is. I'm not going to give you any, like, plot details. There might be little things that I mention, but I'm not going to, like, spoil the finale of the show or anything. So if this is your last chance, click off if you do not want to see that. But now I'm going to swap Gondolaria out for rocks. Rox is, of course, another one of the Forbidden Five, just like Noct, and yet another one that I'm very excited to have. A cool detail is that she uses mid-legs, which I believe does match her character in the show. However, for her custom, it would have been very easy just to give her big legs instead. But this really shows, like, their attention to detail. She has short legs in the show, so they gave her short legs on the minifigure. But they still gave her just as much printing as she has in the show. I will say, one small thing is I feel like the dark brown on these minifigures is very dark. Maybe even a little bit too dark. Like, it blends in with the black a little bit. Now, part of that might just be because I have it in this bright light box. But I feel like it just doesn't pop as much as some of the other colors. Again, I assume that's a printing process thing. I don't know how much control they have over that, and it really doesn't hurt the minifigure too much, like it still looks fantastic. But yeah, that's just a little bit of constructive feedback for the future. I'd be curious to see if they can improve that at all. She's got the straw hat on just like Noct, except this is dark brown instead of black. No back torso print on her, which I think is perfectly fine. However, the absolute coolest part about this minifigure is once again the face print. Just like on Gondolaria, Flo sort of had to like redesign this from the show, because in the show that like a mouthpiece mask that she wears is a three-dimensional thing that goes over her face. It wasn't just printing on a minifigure. So he had to like completely redesign that to make it go flat against the minifigure face, and I think he did a fantastic job. Those teeth especially look amazing, I love how the gold looks. And her expression's really intense too, I love the vibrant red eyes. And I guess these are like a little bits of makeup around her head, again it matches her in the show, but we don't really know too much about her in the show just yet, so I don't know exactly what they're supposed to be, like what species she is. They elected to use bright orange for the head, which I think was a good choice. I don't think I ever noticed in the show that she was orange, but looking at pictures, I definitely see that. She mostly appears in, like, very dark scenes, so I guess I always thought she was yellow, but this definitely makes her feel a lot more alien. And then she does actually have a back head print. I don't remember if this is something that appeared in the show or if they just made it up for the minifigure, but either way, it looks really good. And because she wears the straw hat, you can actually always see it, which is very nice too. Just like Noct, I assume she's a minifigure that we're gonna get officially at some point, but who knows if and when that is, and I don't know if it's gonna be in the same outfit. So once again, I'm very grateful for the fact that some Ninjago fans took it into their own hands to make this minifigure. But there we go, there is all three custom minifigures that were sent to me for this video. Once again, I want to thank the whole team behind this, Ninja Customs, Flow Society, and Super figs. I believe all three of these are for sale. You guys can go check out their Instagrams in the description if you're interested in buying anything. I want to make it clear this is not a sponsored video. They didn't like ask me to say good things in particular, but I'm a Ninjago fan who loves supporting custom printed Ninjago projects. 
and the art and idea behind these is all just so incredible. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really like these, and I'm really appreciative of the fact that they sent them over. If you want to see more custom printed Ninjago minifigures, I have a full playlist, I'll have it linked in the description below, as well as in a pinned comment. There's tons of other cool ones I've reviewed over the years, both from this team and from others. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and go check those other videos out. But as for this one, I think that's about all I have to say, so thanks for watching everybody, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!